So now we are going to talk about the importance of plants to humans. So we have already seen that humans and animals survive because of plants and plants not only provide us with food but also shelter and clothing and the plants provide shelter to animals like the birds that build their nests on the top of trees. So let us see what are the different importances of plants to humans. So plants are useful for humans in many ways. First is your food that is the most essential part so it provides food. Plants are the main source of food for humans. The food is in the form of vegetables, fruits, grains, cereals, leaves, seeds, mushrooms, etc. So these are the type of plants that we or the parts of the plant that we eat. So it is in the form of vegetables, fruits, grains, cereals leaves, your seeds and the mushrooms. So food is in the form of vegetables, the different vegetables, the different fruits that we consume, the grains, the cereals, the leaves, that is the different types of greens that are healthy and the seeds and the mushrooms. They provide the complete food comprising of all the essential nutrients so it provides a balanced diet so it provides a complete food comprising of all the essential nutrients namely carbohydrates fats vitamins proteins and minerals so the following nutrients are present in the plants that is your carbohydrates your fats your proteins your vitamins and your minerals so these are the important nutrients that are provided by the plants for the humans to consume that is your carbohydrates your fats your proteins your vitamins and minerals however for a few vitamins we may still need to rely on animal food so not all vitamins are present in plants we have to rely even on animal food for some nutrients so when we have both plants and animals in our diet we call it a balanced diet so for a few vitamins we still rely on animal food so the most important part is your food so plants provide humans with the necessary food the next is your clothing plants are the largest providers of textiles fabrics so we get our clothing only from different parts of the plant and they are the largest textile provider these materials are eco friendly compatible and less expensive so the materials that we get from the plants are eco friendly compatible and less expensive the plant materials like cotton jute etc contribute to manufacturing of yarn and other clothing fiber so normally if we go in for cotton clothes you find it less expensive and they are also eco-friendly that is your cotton and your jute so the plant materials like cotton jute etc contribute to manufacturing of yarn and other clothing fiber so the first importance is your food the second comes your clothing the next is furniture and shelter so humans need a roof over their heads and this is possible only because of the presence or the importance of plants plants are an important source of furniture plants are also home to many animals like we've seen the birds build their nests on the trees in order to lay their eggs and hatch them and they provide shelter for humans as well the wood from the tree is cut and made into furniture or used to build your houses so the first is the food the second comes your clothing and the third is your furniture and shelter the next is the flowers flowers are used widely by 
humans so the flowers that we get from the trees are used by humans they are used for enhancing beauty in case of any occasion you find that the decorations are mostly done with fresh flowers so they enhance the beauty to convey feelings and also for their fragrance so they convey your feelings and also provide a good perfume that is the fragrance as in scents or in perfume so the perfumes that we use are made mostly using the flowers so flowers are used for enhancing beauty to convey feelings and also for their fragrance so normally mostly we see that the rose plants the roses are used to manufacture or to provide us with the perfumes that we use every day so we have seen that we have used plants as a source of food clothing furniture and shelter and the flowers so every part of the tree is useful be it the roots the shoot the stem the branches the flowers so every part of the plant is very useful the next is medicine plants are a great source of medicine in olden times people mostly use the plants as medicine instead of resorting to going to a doctor so plants are a great source of medicine for example the juice of the tulsi leaves is used for cough and cold so in case of a cough and cold the juice of the tulsi leaves are used turmeric is used in cooking and also as an anti inflammatory so turmeric is not only used for cooking but also as an anti inflammatory medicine amla juice is good for the stomach and aloe vera juice is good for the skin aloe vera juice is used internally as well as externally so we've seen that the plants the humans consume plants that is in the type of food next is your clothing your furniture and shelter and used as flower the flowers are used to enhance beauty and the next is your medicine so different plants are used as for different medicinal as different medicinal values in case of a cough and cold we use the tulsi leaves we consume the tulsi leaves the amla juice is also used for for the stomach and your aloe vera juice is consumed internally as well as it is used externally for the skin